Hello and welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to explain anomaly detection with isolation forest method in Python. Anomaly or outliers are elements that deviate from the typical characteristics of the majority of the observed data. These anomalies can represent errors, extreme values, or unusual instances within the dataset. There are several methods available for detecting anomalies and uh, the isolation forest is one of the techniques used for anomaly detection. In this tutorial, we'll learn how to detect an anomaly in the dataset by using the isolation forest method in Python. The scikit-learn API provides the isolation forest class for this algorithm and we'll use it in this tutorial. Here we cover uh, exploration of the isolation forest, preparing the dataset, defining the model and the prediction, anomaly detection with scores, and the source code listing. So what is the isolation forest? The isolation forest is an efficient anomaly detection technique. It constructs a set of binary trees called isolation trees by randomly selecting features and recursively splitting data points. Anomalies are easier to isolate and have shorter passes in the trees, while normal data points require more splits. By measuring the average pass length, the algorithm identifies anomalies as data points with shorter pass falling below a predefined threshold. Isolation force is highly effective for detecting outliers, especially in high-dimensional data, making it valuable for applications like fraud detection and network security. Now we'll start writing the code. We'll start by loading the required packages for this tutorial. Here we use SQL and Ensemble datasets, NumPy, Matplotlib libraries. First, we'll create a random sample dataset for this tutorial by using the makeBlow function as shown here and we visualize it in a graph so this is the data uh, to test next we'll define the model and uh, do prediction we'll define the model by using the isolation forest class of scikit-learn api we'll set estimators number and the contamination value in arguments of the class here we define estimates number and contamination value. We'll fit the model on X dataset and get prediction with a fit predict function. Then we'll extract the negative outputs as outliers and we'll get their values. Finally, we visualize the results in a plot by highlighting the anomalies with a color. Here are that we found four anomalies in this data. Anomaly detection with scores. In this method, we'll define the model without setting the contamination argument, and just only define the number of estimators. Then extract the sample scores. Next, we'll obtain the threshold value from the scores by using the quantile function. Here, we'll get the lowest 2% uh, of samples as anomalies. Here, we define the threshold value. Then, we'll extract the anomalies by comparing the threshold value and get values from the indexes. Finally, we'll visualize the result in a plot uh, by highlighting the anomalies with the color. As you have seen uh, above, in both methods we've got uh, the same result, so you can use any of them in your analysis, uh, and you can change the threshold or contamination arguments in a model to filter out more extreme cases. In this tutorial, we briefly learned how to detect the anomalies with isolation force algorithm by using scikit-learn API class in Python, and the uh, full source code is listed below.
If you are interested in checking out the source code for what we covered in this video, you can find the link right below this video in the description. Just click on that link and it will take you to the code so you can test it in your environment. Please remember to click the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos and tutorials. Thank you for watching.